Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in today's video I want to get into a question that was asked in the channel about viewing EPUB documents within Obsidian. Now I recently showed a video where you can annotate on PDFs within Obsidian using a tool called Annotator and it also supports EPUBs. So this would be one of the easiest ways to get EPUB support. So if you want to open up an EPUB, read it within Obsidian and then annotate it, you know, leave notes and everything. This is one of the simplest ways that I've seen and this tool works really well for doing annotations, doing notes on PDFs and EPUBs here. So it's, it's a kind of a, a one-stop solution for PDFs and EPUB documents. Let me go ahead and get into what you need to do to set up Obsidian in order to support this because it is a little bit different than uh, just going straight with PDFs. Now, PDFs, we can see here, you know, in the previous video, if you've watched it, I've left some of the documents in here and PDFs are supported within Obsidian by default, meaning that you can pretty much see these file types without changing any other settings within Obsidian, uh, within the Explorer. And you can also open them up and, and view these actual PDF documents uh, natively. So, but in order to do EPUB, what we need to do is we have to go into the settings and then go into files and we have to enable the detect all file extensions option here. And this will go ahead and let us see the EPUB file types. And we can see here that I have a couple e EPUB file types that are showing up. These are in my vault. They were previously in my vault, but we could not see them because we did not have that setting turned on. Now the plugin annotator, I already have it installed and set up. Um, based on the previous video, I, I installed it, I enabled it. There are no real uh, special config configs you have to set for this. Um, if you want to go in here and change anything in the plugin options, you can, uh, but you don't need to do anything special to support the EPUB. Now, um, with the that plugin support, we have to create a file. So just like I did with the PDF, as we can see here, if we move it in the markdown, we can see there's this little annotation you have to put here in the, in the metadata of the file. We need to do that same thing for the EPUB. It takes the same format. I've already created one of these files here called annotation EPUB. And if we go ahead and change this to markdown, we can see what that looks like. So it just points to a, an EPUB file it auto detects that it's an EPUB so there's nothing you really need to do here as well we'll change that back to annotation we can see the the you know the the front face the cover of the EPUB document here and if we go ahead and we click through we can see the the EPUB shows up it has everything in it it works really well and you can come in here and you can select, you know, a certain text. You can highlight. We can go in and we can annotate. We'll just put some stuff in here, post to me. And just like with the annotation of an EPUB document, all the annotations are saved here. They're put into this uh, markdown file that you've created. You can see everything goes to the bottom here. And as long as you don't change the name of the file, um, everything should work. And when I say the file, the actual PDF or the EPUB, everything should stay linked together to where you can just go into the edit here, and just open up the window and you will see your, your annotations show up here. The only thing I did notice within the plugin or the uh, support for the EPUB portion is that when you kind of go from the markdown side of things and then you go into annotate here and 
we want to see the actual notes and the highlights and things like that there in this open pane here that you don't see the, the you know the notes and the highlights like you would in the PDF where um, they, they don't show up unless you're on the actual page so if you go in here and you see that um, there are no annotations in this group um, then what we need to do here is basically just go to the page where you have your annotations and then if you click over those annotations should show up um, I'm seeing here as you can see there it's a little buggy where it's not showing here for whatever reason and also if I'm hiding the annotations here they're not actually hiding either so this is a little buggy as far as the showing the annotations not sure why this is not showing up right now uh, but it I guess the mileage may vary with the EPUBs but if you do want to at least just get in here and read it then those do show up we can see here that I selected some new text and it shows up let me do a highlight on here we will close this reopen and it still does not actually show up so yeah not totally sure why this is not showing up here let me close the file and i will reopen it i'm going to here notations we will go to this document and then I, you know, just scroll back through and the annotations do show up here as we can see. So there is a little bit of a, um, a bug in here. Uh, maybe the developer, if you're watching this here, uh, you can see that for some reason the annotations actually disappear and you have to close the file and, and then reopen it in order to get them uh, back. But they, they're they not lost because I do notice that when I go into the markdown format of the file, I can see all the annotations in raw format in this particular file. So everything is there. It's just the UI and the rendering of these annotations that seems to be a little bit buggy. So if I go back here, all right. So this time I had no issue where I switch back and forth and everything showed up so all right so i'm going to wrap the video up there this is just a quick video to show how you can open up epub documents within obsidian i'm using specifically the annotator uh, community plugin and yeah that's pretty much it so if this was useful helpful to you at all Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. If you want to help in other ways, I do have my buy me a coffee link in the description. You can go ahead and buy me a coffee. Otherwise, that is it. And until the next time, have a nice day.